Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Wilson. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at Palmetto Bone and Joint. I specialize in arthroscopic surgery and sports medicine. I'm here to talk a little bit about the rotator cuff. Um, rotator cuff injuries and rotator cuff pathology and tears make up a good portion of my practice and patients that I see on a daily basis and operate on here at the Chapin Orthopedic Surgery Center. The rotator cuff is a group of muscles that originates back on the shoulder blade and travels over the top of the shoulder as well as the front and back of the shoulder and attaches on the ball of the humerus of the shoulder joint. And what those muscles do is give patients power to move your arm in certain planes and they also helps to stabilize the ball in place on the cup of the shoulder. Now patients come see me when they start having pain in the shoulder and this can be rotator cuff generated pain. This is pain that patients feel over the superior as aspect of the shoulder, the top of the shoulder, or down the side of the arm. And what really normally brings patients in is when they start having pain at night. That's a big um, kind of red flag we see with rotator cuff issues. So in addition to pain in the shoulder, you know, pathology with the rotator cuff can also lead to weakness, uh, weakness with lifting, weakness with overhead activities as well as pain with overhead activities. And so if any patient is experiencing these symptoms, that may warrant an evaluation to, to see if there's any issues with the rotator cuff. Now treatment for the rotator cuff um, is vast. There, we do have multiple different options um, depending on the pathology. So patients can have inflammation of the rotator cuff or the tissues around the rotator cuff. They can have partial tears of a rotator cuff or large full tears that can actually develop into very large tears. So depending on the extent of the pathology, that will direct our treatment recommendations. And so this can include anti-inflammatory medications, a course of rehabilitation on the shoulder, injections in the shoulder, and sometimes ending up having some arthroscopic surgery to fix the rotator cuff. Now, arthroscopic surgery for the rotator cuff is something that I perform here on a weekly basis here at the Chapin Orthopedic Surgery Center. Um, that surgery is an outpatient surgery in which the patient goes home the same day of surgery. Uh, that entails four to six or seven little incisions around the uh, shoulder and using the camera and our arthroscopic equipment I'm able to uh, fix the rotator cuff. Um, patients after surgery should expect a, around a three month or so recovery. This kind of varies again based on the pathology that they have to begin with but somewhere in that ballpark of working through rehab and getting motion back in the shoulder and strength back in the shoulder. Now in addition to primary rotator cuff repairs, I do also specialize in revision rotator cuff surgery and repairs of massive rotator cuff tears. These can be more complex issues in the shoulder. Uh, we have uh, developed in the orthopedic world some additional technology recently that we utilize here. Um, which includes a collagen scaffold that sometimes I place on a rotator cuff in a revision setting and that's if a patient had a rotator cuff repair performed in the past and they tear it again. Uh, the tissue can become thin, it can become friable um, and some weak tissue that can be difficult to repair in certain circumstances and in those cases sometimes I add in an extra collagen patch which can help strengthen the rotator cuff, increase the thickness of that tissue and increase the blood supply which can help healing in an otherwise case that would have a tough time healing. So if you're experiencing pain in the shoulder, pain down the side of your arm, pain that awakens you at night, trouble lifting objects or weakness in the shoulder, give our office a call. I'd be happy to see you to evaluate your shoulder and your issues. Arthroscopic surgery and arthroscopic rotator cuff repair with patch augmentation is just another example of the cutting edge technology we have here at Palmetto Bone and Joint and the Chapin Orthopedic Surgery Center. We're here to serve the patients of the Midlands and uh, the state of South Carolina.